get off my tenure. Let's go westward back to Africa, to the country of Tanzania. Tanzania is just hopping with apes. The Gombe chimpanzees live here. One of their best friends is an amazing scientist who studied them for over 30 years. Her name is Jane Goodall. Even when I was very tiny, I was absolutely fascinated by animals. I think I first began to dream of going to Africa after reading Dr. Doolittle and Tarzan when I was about eight. I was absolutely fascinated with the idea of being out in the jungle, out with the animals, feeling a part of it all. But when Jane first came to Africa in 1960, the chimps weren't exactly lined up to meet her at the airport. It took months before she even saw one. Eventually, though, the chimps grew to accept Jane as a sort of a tall blonde primate with a British accent. Here's one of Jane's favorite chimps, a baby she named Flint. Like all baby chimps, there's nothing Flint loves more than riding his mom piggyback. Uh, chimpy back. Flint's older sister, Fifi, can't seem to keep her hands off her cute baby brother. And hey, Mom doesn't mind letting her babysit so she can have a breather. Besides, it's good practice for Fifi for when she has kids of her own. Jane learned a most amazing thing from watching Flint, Fifi, and her other chimp friends. Chimps actually make and use tools. Say you're a hungry chimp. You really want some termites, only they're down in a hole and you can't reach them. What do you do? You take a twig, rip the leaves off, get it the right size, then dip it into the hole. Voila! Termite a la stick! Camp ape, where apes aping humans is not allowed. Listen up, you apes! That's right, I'm talking to you! Now, some of your behavior is downright embarrassing. For instance, you're checking yourselves out. You're cleaning yourselves up. You're using tools to get what you want. You're even playing games with each other just for the fun of it. Is that any way for a self-respecting ape to behave? If you ask me, you're acting like a bunch of humans. Now, here's what I want you to do. Jump around. Screech a lot. Stuff your faces full of food and scratch yourselves in impolite places. You're apes! Just because you're related to those human beings doesn't mean you have to act like them. Dismissed! And now, time for an ape movie. Just your average greedy animal poachers minding their own business, wandering through Africa with guns and nets and really pointy spears until they ran into... The Killer Gorilla. Stop, stop, stop! Cut, cut! This is totally untrue. Whew. That's better. Oh, I'm sorry to get all worked up, but I just hate it when gorillas get a bad rap. Mountain gorillas live in Central Africa. They're so shy, most folks who live there have never seen one in the wild. But in zoos, gorillas are a major attraction, and up close it becomes very clear just how sensitive these big primates are. In 1988, Willie B was probably the grouchiest animal in the Atlanta Zoo. If you looked up the words bad attitude, you'd probably find his picture. Like other primates, gorillas are social animals. And Willie was depressed because he was lonely. He'd lived alone in a bear cage for 27 years. But Willie's life changed forever when a new director, Dr. Terry Maple, took over Zoo Atlanta. He decided to bring a bit of Africa back to Willie B. Dr. Maple and his team built a place for Willie to live that was just like his African home. And he wouldn't be lonely anymore, either. Thirteen new gorillas were loaned to the zoo to keep Willie company. At last, it was time for Willie to check out his new home. Cautiously, Willie stepped outside. For the next few hours, he went in and out of his room, gradually gaining the confidence to explore. 
Finally, Willie gets to gaze at the sky and feel new grass under his feet. Now, that's what being a gorilla is all about. Want to hear another amazing gorilla story? <laughs> Meet Susie. Just like Willie B, Susie spent most of her life in isolation at a zoo in Alabama. Now she's at the Columbus Zoo in Ohio, raising her son, Colby. But when Susie left her old home, she left behind a longtime friend and keeper, Randy Reed. It made a big change in my life when she left. I was with this animal for 20 years, and she was one of my best friends. Now Randy's come to Columbus after nearly four years to see if Susie will still remember him. I think she will remember me. Of course, I'm hoping that she will. Susie, come here, Susie. Susie, come here, Susie. Come here. Come on. Come on, Susie. Come on. Come here, Susie. Come on. Hello, girl. Come on. Come on. Gorillas, chimpanzees, monkeys. Our primate relatives seem so much like us. In a way, all primates are our brothers. Well, gang, it's sure been great hanging with you and the rest of the primates. But there are lots more really wild animals all across this wonderful world of ours. So be sure to join me on our next adventure. Until then, this is your pal Spin. Spin you later.